today I'm going to talk about index to add, uh, sorry, multiply and divide index with the same ones uh, and an object to uh, uh, basically the two index orders, which are all fairly easy. Okay, so the general rule when we're multiplying terms with the same base, the same polynomial at the bottom, is you simply just add the powers. So a to the m, to add to a to the m, put a to the m plus m. Now we're going to give an example later on. And dividing is a to the m divided by a to the m equals a to the m minus m. It's all fairly simple and straightforward. Okay, okay simplify 3 to the 5th times 3 to the third. Well first of all we need to know what 3 to the fifth is. It looks like this. Well we're multiplying it by 3 to the third which looks like that. You will see there that you have got 8 lots of 3 or 3 to the eighth. And you can see that 3 to the fifth times 3 to the third. So you've got 3 plus 5 or 5 plus 3 equals 8. And that is the answer. Same goes with 7 to the ninth times 7 to the sixth. And we'll see the same Example, and you'll end up with 7 to the 15th. Okay, and this is the same thing again. You see a couple more examples work through. And you're applying the general rule. You can see the replacement of A is the base. In this case up here, it's 3 in the first one. Uh, the base is 3, and in the second example, the base is 6. In the example shown there, 4 to the 7th times 4 to the 5th, the base is 4. The base is the same, so you can apply the index rule, 7 plus 5 equals 12, so the answer is 4 to the 12th. Remember, if the base is different, you cannot apply the index rule. Okay, how can I simplify 8 and 9 to the 5th divided by 9 to the 3rd? Well, we've already learned that the index law was A to the M divided by a to the n equals a to the n minus n. So just looking at that, you would expect the answer to be 9 squared, because that's 5 minus 3 is 2. Um, the reason why this is so, 9 to the fifth is 9 times 9, 5 times, as shown here. And 9 to the third, or 9 cubed, is 9 times 9, 3 times. Um, simple process, process of eliminating out three nines, like so, and you end up with an answer of nine squared. Same process involved with the next one. Maybe the lines are a little bit out, but you can see the point quite simply. Okay, you can do all of these sums. Three to the negative two, you'll end up with an inverse. We'll talk about that later. Okay, so the general rule when dividing terms with the same base, you subtract the powers a to the m divided by a to the m is a to the m minus n, and the example is given there. Okay, one last example: four to the four cubed um, to the power of four is simply this. You've got four cubed four times and you end up with the answer being 12, or 4 times 3, or 12. Okay, so that's quite simple there. As long as you understand why this is happening, you'll be fine. So there you've got it again. You've got 7 cubed times 7 cubed, which will equal 7 to the power of 6. And same with the next one. 9 to the power of 6 cubed equals 9 to the power of 6 3 times, which is 9 to the power of 18. So general rule, when you are raising the power to another power, you multiply the powers as we 